Good morning, class four students. How are you? I hope you are all well. Welcome back to your English class. Open Act, page number sixty-five, chapter number eleven. The passage is about kindness. Okay. So the name of the passage is kindness. Okay. So now let's read the passage. But before reading this passage. You have to remember who are the main characters, Mr. Fukan, a villager, and a beggar. Okay, they are the main characters. Except them, there is also the character of the of a another villager. God comes in dream. Okay, so now let's start. Mr. Fukan was very kind. He was very kind at the time. He always <coughs> gave things to the poor people. He always donated things. The poor people. He was very pious. Do you know pious means pious or he was very pious or thirsty. T T A T I S T. Okay. He was very pious or thirst. Pious means person or pious or thirst means a person who believes in the existence of God. And Mr. Fuker always considered this matter that. Uh, The that all the wealth he he had achieved in his life donated by God. Okay, nothing is uh, nothing is his. All things are God's, and God has given it. Okay, this is the concept of Fukan. One day it was very night. It was dark night, and everyone of Fukan's family members slept. Okay, so by the time Guriya got up, then uh, a beggar just knocked. At the door, okay, and he said, "I'm very hungry. I have not eaten for a long time. Please give me some food." Okay, Fukan was very kind-hearted. We all know Fukan uh, <coughs> called him inside his house, and Fukan said, and he went to the kitchen, but he saw that there was nothing to eat. Then he said to the beggar, "Just uh, you are very dirty, so go and take a bath. Then I will prepare some food for you." Okay. Then Fukan started preparing food. So he made rice, potato curry, and brinjals. And the vegetables of brinjals. A chumus to diye the toyi kore chilo. And uh, he served the food to the beggar. The beggar just grabbed the food and swallowing. So he got to go go cross the chain table because he was hungry for a long time and he had not eaten some well food for a long time. Even when he was hungry, he was not able to eat any food. He was not able to eat any food. He was not able to eat any food. And then uh, when his food, okay, here is the word. It's given wrong in your book. Here is the fact of word. I said, "Come on, boy, how many fools there are here." Once he had appeared, his hunger a little not appeared. It have been appeased. It have been or had not appeased. A W P E A S E D. It have appeared how an appeased. Appeased means to satisfy something or to <coughs> to satisfy. Okay. जोकन तारे कुछ खुदा को मिला चे. Just he then Fukan said, "Hey, you should please accept my hospitality." And you should thank God because He had provided food to you through me. Okay, Amar Mantu Man, you have got food to eat. That is, you have got it. Because, obviously, thank God, obviously, you have got it. Because, you have a grateful heart. Then He said, "What should I obey God? You are a kind man. You give me the food. God didn't give me the food. You only give me the food. So I thank you, but not God." Then Fukar said, "That God is the owner of this world. God." It is God who has given you the food through me. He supplied the food, not I. I am just I am just a medium to give you the food. But the man, <coughs> the man argued again with Fugar, and finally he said that God is non-existent in the world. Just. When the man said non-existent, God is there, non-existent. Then Fukan became very angry. Okay, he said, "You are a theist. 
Theist means who believe in God and atheist. A T H E I S T. Atheist. Atheist means the person who did, uh, who don't believe or uh, who does not believe in the existence of God. If you are atheist, I am very pious atheist. I even atheist. There is no place in my house for the atheist. Then he pushed. He snatched the plate of food from the beggar and pushed him out of his house. He could not. लेटा केनी लोग कर सके ये ताके ठेले बाढ़ के तो बाढ़े बाढ़ पड़े जिगर ओके देन ही वेंट टू स्लीप बट ही वाज इन अ मेंटल डिस्टरबेंस ओके ही ही वेंट टू स्लीप बट ही वाज इन अ मेंटल डिस्टरबेंस देन ही वाज टू लेट एट नाइट बिफोर सिंस हिज प्रे सिंस हिज प्रेयर टू गॉड स्टॉप देन देन ही वेंट टू स्लीप a person who is able but remember one word there is no existence in the world in there is no existence of god in the world or god is non existent always rank these words in his ear tar real prakta kaner modhe ei kotha no bashi thaklo je god non existent non existent okay suddenly suddenly when he fell asleep then god appeared in his dream तब सब ने आज लो he wanted he tried hard to see the face of the god but there was bright light and he saw nothing खूब bright light थी लो और सिर्फ ये देखते बोलो ना and god asked my child why did you push this man out of your house and uh, before finishing his meal then uh, then mr fukan answered that god he said you are non existent okay you don't believe in god Then Pukan said, "I sorry." Then God said, "I have prepared. I have uh, provided him food for last seventy years, and he always spoke bad words about me. And you can't tolerate it for one day." Okay. Then Pukan got ashamed. Then Pukan got ashamed, and he cried like a child and ashamed him. Okay. So this is the concept of this story. Read the story carefully and remember. You have to also read the what notes from your book. Okay, and in the next class we will solve the question answer. Okay, so that's all for today. Have a nice day. Bye.